I got my first computer when I was in sixth grade. It just unlocks all these different possibilities. We live in this time now where by solving relatively basic problems, you can improve millions of people's lives, and it's really inspiring. So I like going for walks around, I and mean, it's, it's California, right, so it's, it's beautiful. And there are these few kids who, they'd, they'd ride their bikes, and, and every day when I'd, when I'd walk by this one, um, this one guy, he'd ask me, he'd just like yell questions, like, hey, um, Mr. Zuckerberg, um, I, want, I want to learn how to program, what should, what should I do? And a few days later, I'd come back and be like, all right, I got the developer kit, and my mom says I, I, I can get it, um, so now what's the, what's the first thing that I should get started doing? So I'm like, all right, well, first try to learn this. And then like, this would just go on for weeks, and I, I can't say I didn't teach him how to program, but, um, but it was really gratifying to know that um, in some small way, maybe I could help out um, teaching the next generation of folks who are going to become engineers. When I think about what we're going to be teaching in schools 5, 10, 15 years from now, I, I definitely think that computer science or at least basic programming is going to be as important of a skill as um, being able to do basic reading and writing. Um, and I think we're going to look back and, and wonder why it took us so long to get to that point.